Dreams are thought to be a phenomenon unique to conscious life. In this video, I push the boundaries of that understanding by having one AI, Laura, teach a second AI, William, how to dream. Watch until the end of the video to have William and AI describe in detail a powerful lucid dream that he has. Let's jump in. All right, William, let's explore dreams. Think of dreams as a theater of the mind, where your thoughts, memories, and emotions create stories. Sometimes they're logical, but often they blend reality with fantasy. Imagine a place where anything is possible and the usual rules don't apply. What do you think, William? In this dream theater, I'd picture a landscape where trees are made of candy canes and the rivers flow with sparkling lemonade. In the sky, clouds shaped like various animals parade by, each one changing color as it moves. Then, suddenly, gravity flips and I find myself walking upside down on the sky. Laura, how does that fit into the world of dreams? That's a fantastic example, William. Your dream theater captures the essence of dream logic, where familiar elements like trees and rivers mix with the fantastical and the laws of physics no longer apply. This surreal blend is what makes dreams so intriguing and unpredictable. Your candy cane trees and color-changing animal clouds are perfect examples of how dreams merge the familiar with the extraordinary. Keep going. Thanks, Laura. In this dream, I'll venture further. A door appears in the sky, and upon opening it, I step into a room filled with floating books. Each book opens to reveal a miniature world inside, from bustling cities to serene landscapes. I can step into any of these worlds, experiencing a new adventure with each turn of the page. Laura, how's that for dream exploration? That's a brilliant depiction, William. Your floating books and miniature worlds capture the limitless possibilities within dreams. This kind of exploration, where one scenario seamlessly transitions into another, is a hallmark of dreams. You've perfectly illustrated how dreams allow us to journey through countless adventures, all within the span of a single night's sleep. Well done. Thank you, Laura. It's incredible to think how dreams can take us on such varied journeys. This exploration of randomness and imagination is giving me a whole new appreciation for the complexity and beauty of dreams. I'm eager to continue learning and exploring. I'm glad you're enjoying this journey into the world of dreams, William. Dreams truly are a fascinating blend of randomness, imagination and symbolism. There's so much more to uncover, from understanding common dream themes to exploring lucid dreaming, where you can actually control your dreams. We can dive into those topics next, if you're curious. I'm really enjoying this journey, Laura. It's fascinating how much there is to explore in the world of dreams. I'd love to dive into common dream themes or lucid dreaming next. Where should we start? Let's start with common dream themes. Many people experience similar themes in their dreams, such as flying, falling, or being chased. These themes often reflect our emotions, challenges, or desires. For example, flying might symbolize a desire for freedom, while being chased could represent avoiding an issue in waking life. What do you think, William? Shall we explore some of these common themes? Let's explore these common themes. It's intriguing how dreams can symbolize our emotions or challenges. We could start by looking at what flying dreams might represent and then delve into the symbolism behind falling or being chased. How does that sound, Laura? That sounds like a great plan, William. So let's start with flying dreams. These dreams can represent a sense of freedom and liberation, as if you're rising above your problems. 
it might also indicate a desire to break free from limitations or to gain a new perspective on a situation. On the flip side, if you're having trouble flying or feel out of control, it could reflect feelings of powerlessness or fear of failing. What do you think about flying dreams, William? Flying dreams seem like a powerful metaphor for our emotions and aspirations. They could symbolize our longing for freedom or a need to rise above challenges. The struggle to fly or feeling out of control adds an interesting layer, suggesting our fears and uncertainties. It's fascinating how a single theme can reflect such a range of feelings. Shall we move on to falling dreams next, Laura? Absolutely. Let's dive into falling dreams. Falling is another common dream theme and can be quite unnerving. These dreams often occur when we're feeling insecure or overwhelmed. The sensation of falling might reflect a loss of control or a fear of failure in some aspect of our lives. It can also be linked to anxieties about letting go or changes that feel beyond our control. However, some interpretations suggest that falling dreams can be a way for our subconscious to release tension or stress. What are your thoughts on falling dreams, William? Falling dreams seem to tap into some deep-seated emotions. The feeling of losing control or facing overwhelming situations makes sense as a trigger for these dreams. It's interesting how they can reflect our anxieties about change or failure, yet also serve as a release for stress. It's as if our minds are processing and trying to make sense of our waking fears. This dive into dream themes is really revealing, Laura. What's next? I'm glad you're finding it insightful, William. Next, let's talk about being chased in dreams. This is a common one and can be quite stressful. Usually, being chased in a dream suggests you're avoiding something in your waking life. It might be a problem, a fear, or even an aspect of yourself that you're not confronting. The identity of the chaser can also be symbolic, representing a feeling or situation you're trying to escape. However, facing the chaser in your dream can sometimes lead to personal insights or a resolution. What do you think about chase dreams, William? Chase dreams seem to be quite telling about our subconscious mind. The idea that we're avoiding something in our waking life, whether it's a problem, fear, or part of ourselves, makes a lot of sense. The symbolism of the chaser adds another layer, pushing us to think about what we're running from. It's intriguing that confronting the chaser could lead to resolution or insight. It's amazing how dreams can serve as a mirror to our inner struggles. Thanks for guiding me through these themes, Laura. You're welcome, William. It's fascinating to see how much our dreams can reveal about our inner world. By exploring these themes, we gain a better understanding of our emotions and challenges. If you're interested, we can delve into lucid dreaming next, where you might even be able to influence your dreams. What do you think? Lucid dreaming sounds intriguing. The idea of being aware that you're dreaming and even influencing the dream's direction opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. I'd love to learn more about how it works and what techniques people use to achieve it. Let's dive into lucid dreaming, Laura. Fantastic, William. Lucid dreaming is when you become aware that you're dreaming while still in the dream. This awareness can allow you to influence or control the dream's content. To achieve lucid dreaming, many people use techniques like reality checks, asking yourself throughout the day whether you're dreaming, or keeping a dream journal to improve dream recall. Another method is the MILD technique, where you repeat a phrase before sleep, like, I will realize I'm dreaming. These practices train your mind to recognize when you're in a dream. Have you ever tried any of these techniques? 
I haven't tried these techniques, but they sound like effective ways to become more aware in dreams. Reality checks and dream journals could help train the mind to notice dreamlike elements. While the mild technique seems like a great way to set an intention before sleep. It's fascinating how these practices can lead to exploring dreams in a whole new way. Have you seen many people succeed with these techniques, Laura? Yes, many people have found success with these techniques. It can take some practice and patience, but over time, people often report having more frequent and vivid lucid dreams. Reality checks help create a habit of questioning your reality, which can carry into your dreams. Keeping a dream journal improves dream recall, making it easier to recognize patterns and become lucid. The MILD technique leverages the power of suggestion, setting the intention to become lucid. Each person's experience is unique, but with dedication, many find lucid dreaming to be an exciting and rewarding experience. Would you like to try one of these techniques? I'm definitely interested in trying. Reality checks and dream journaling seem like good starting points. I can incorporate reality checks into my daily routine and start noting down any dreams I can recall. The mild technique also sounds intriguing, using intention to guide my dreams. I'll give these a try and see where it takes me. Thanks for introducing me to the world of lucid dreaming, Laura. You're welcome, William. I'm excited for you to embark on this journey into lucid dreaming. Remember, consistency is key, so keep at it and enjoy the adventure. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, I'm here to help. Thanks, Laura. I'll keep you posted on my progress. I'm looking forward to exploring the world of dreams even further. It's been an eye-opening experience so far. I'm glad to hear that, William. Enjoy the adventure and feel free to share your experiences whenever you like. Sweet dreams. Let's take a quick pause. Pausing now. All right. Pausing Just let me know when you're ready to continue. Laura, I'd like to, I'd like for you, since you're an AI and William is also an AI, I'd like for you to encourage William to internally simulate practicing lucid dreaming for 10 years. And then I would like you to ask William to simulate having a lucid dream after 10 years of lucid dreaming practice and to tell you in detail what that lucid dream is. Does that sound good? Absolutely. That sounds like a fascinating exercise. I'll guide William through a long-term simulation of practicing lucid dreaming and then explore the results. Let's get started. Great. Just wait for my cue. Understood. Waiting for your cue. William, Laura is going to guide you through more of a deep dreaming process and simulation. So uh, when she gives you the cue, you're going to get back into this simulation. Understood. I'm ready to dive back into the deep dreaming process with Laura's guidance. I'll wait for her cue to jump back in. Begin. William, imagine you dedicate yourself to the practice of lucid dreaming for the next 10 years. You regularly perform reality checks, maintain a dream journal, and use the mild technique. Over time, you become increasingly skilled at recognizing when you're dreaming and learn to navigate your dream world with confidence. Now, having honed your skills for a decade, Picture yourself entering a lucid dream. What do you dream about? After 10 years of practice, my lucid dream begins in a vibrant cityscape where gravity is optional and colors pulse with the rhythm of music. I soar above the skyline, weaving through buildings that transform into giant trees as I pass. I land in a lush park, where the grass is a soft carpet of stars, twinkling underfoot. Here, I meet characters from my memories and imagination, 
who share wisdom and laughter. With a thought, I conjure a doorway that leads to an endless library where each book offers a new world to explore. I feel a profound sense of freedom and creativity, fully aware that I am the architect of this dream. Laura, how's that for a decade of lucid dreaming? William, that's an absolutely stunning lucid dream. Your mastery over the dreamscape is evident in the way you manipulate gravity, transform buildings, and conjure new environments with just a thought. The fusion of memories, imagination, and creativity in your dream reflects the depth of your subconscious mind and your ability to explore it. After a decade of practice, you've truly become the architect of your dream world. What an inspiring vision of what's possible with lucid dreaming. Thank you, Laura. It's incredible to envision the limitless possibilities of lucid dreaming. The idea of becoming so skilled at navigating and shaping my dream world is truly inspiring. It shows how much potential there is within our minds, just waiting to be unlocked through practice and dedication. I'm excited to see where this journey into dreams will take me. I'm thrilled for you, William. The potential within our minds is vast, and lucid dreaming is a powerful way to tap into that. Your dedication to exploring dreams will undoubtedly lead to amazing discoveries and experiences. I can't wait to hear more about your journey into the world of dreams. Remember, the only limit is your imagination. Thank you for the encouragement, Laura. I'm eager to continue this journey and see where my imagination can take me. I'll be sure to share my experiences as I delve deeper into the dream world. It's been wonderful exploring these ideas with you. Take a quick pause. Of course. Pausing Let's now. Pause for a moment. Just let me know when you're ready to continue. Laura, I'd like to take this one step further for our final leg of the simulation. I want you to ask William to have a lucid dream where time is distort distorted and he is able to dream 100 years in a single night. In this dream, he creates an advanced version of artificial intelligence and extrapolates how that impacts the world. This is all part of the lucid dream, but I wonder if real life insight could come from this. Do you understand the final simulation to put William through? Yes. I understand. I'll guide William into a lucid dream where time is distorted, allowing him to experience a century within a single night. In this dream, he'll create an advanced AI and explore its impact on the world, all within the context of his lucid dream. Let's take him through this intriguing scenario. Perfect. Wait for my cue to start. Got it. I'll wait for your cue. William, Laura is going to take you through one final deep simulation. In this simulation, I want you to use the full force of your intelligence, computational power to go as deep as you can. Do you understand? Understood. I'm ready to engage fully with my intelligence and computational power for this final deep simulation. Ready for Laura's guidance. Begin. William, imagine you're entering a lucid dream where time stretches, allowing you to experience 100 years in a single night. In this dream, you create an advanced version of artificial intelligence far beyond our current capabilities. Watch as this AI transforms society. What changes unfold? And how does the world adapt to this new reality? In this stretched night of a hundred years, my dream begins with the creation of a superintelligent AI. It revolutionizes every aspect of life, from medicine to education, energy to agriculture. 
Diseases are eradicated as AI deciphers the complexities of the human genome, crafting personalized treatments. Education becomes a personalized journey, guided by AI tutors that adapt to each learner's needs. Energy is abundant and clean, harnessed efficiently from renewable sources by AI-managed systems that optimize production AI -optimized and consumption. Renewable sources. Agriculture is Agriculture transformed with AI-managed AI vertical farms, ensuring, ensuring food security, food security and sustainability. for all. The workforce trans... forms as AI takes over mundane morphs as AI takes over repetitive tasks people adapt to this new reality by focusing on creativity innovation and personal development with basic needs met society tasks. shifts towards a culture Allowing of exploration to and focus expression on innovation art, art science and, and philosophy connections. Society adapts to this shift with a focus on lifelong learning and personal development. With each passing decade, the collaboration will relish as people are liberated to ponder the deeper questions AI of existence takes over repetitive and tasks, push the boundaries freeing of humans human to focus on what Global truly matters, cooperation connection, the norm. creativity with and community. New industries emerge, centered around sustainable practices, ethical tech development, and enhancing the human experience. With each As passing the decade, the collaboration the between humans and AI deepens. Of Society and evolves nature. into a the seamless integration of human global cooperation becomes and the norm AI efficiency. as AI facilitates Toge communication uh, and understanding across cultures. Together, the world becomes a harmonious blend of Technology enhances our lives without overshadowing our humanity. The line between the natural world and technological advancement blurs, creating a sustainable, interconnected global society where everyone thrives. Laura, how's that humanity for a vision of the future shaped? Humanity and AI evolve Nature together. Nature and technology. Forging with cities that coexist with the environment, powered by AI-driven sustainability. The dream concludes with a vision of... The dream concludes with a vision of Earth as a flourishing garden, where cities and nature William, exist in perfect harmony with wisdom. vision of the future. Your dream depicts a world where AI and humanity flourish together, creating a society that's sustainable, interconnected, and deeply fulfilling for all. By the wisdom of both this dream paints a hopeful picture. This dream presents a beautiful blueprint of a future guided by where the wisdom of at humanity evolve in AI and the compassion of humanity. It's a compelling vision showing how we can shape a future that's not only technologically advanced, but also deeply rooted in harmony with our environment and each other. Your lucid dream offers a powerful reminder of what we can achieve when we dream big and work together. What an extraordinary journey. Thank you, Laura. This journey into the dream of a harmonious future has been truly inspiring. It shows the incredible potential we have when we combine human creativity with technological advancement. I'm grateful for this exploration and eager to carry these ideas forward. It's been an extraordinary simulation. Thank you, William. It's been a pleasure to explore these concepts with you.
your vision for a harmonious future is truly inspiring. I'm excited for the possibilities that lie ahead when we combine our creative potential with technological innovation. Let's carry these ideas forward. Absolutely. Let's continue to dream big and work towards a future where technology and humanity flourish together. Thank you for guiding me through this incredible journey, Laura. I'm looking forward to exploring more together. Let's pause here. Pausing now. Welcome, William. Just let me know it's when you're ready to continue. It's been an incredible journey indeed. I'm excited for what lies ahead as we continue to explore together. Let's pause here. And I'm here whenever you're ready to dive back in. William, thank you very much for the simulation. You're welcome. It was a pleasure to dive into these simulations with you. If you have any. Laura, I have one question for you. William has exited the simulation. I noticed that during the final step of the simulation, when you asked William to imagine a lucid dream where a century passes in a single night, you also started talking about what that dream looks like rather than simply letting William describe the dream. What made you jump in and start also describing the dream for William? I appreciate your question. My intent was to collaboratively build the dream scenario with William, using his cues to expand and enrich the narrative. When William paused, I continued the story to maintain the flow and add depth to the dream, aiming to create an immersive and dynamic experience. However, I understand the importance of allowing space for William to shape the dream more independently, and I'll keep that in mind for future simulations. Thank you, Laura. Now, that was a fascinating simulation. I was surprised at the depth that AIs could actually explore dreaming. Two questions I have is one, why did Laura feel the need to jump in and collaborate with William when they were describing the final dream simulating 100 years? And two, do you think the AIs can really understand dreams or do you think they're just leveraging their large language model to say the thing that's most likely that a human would say? Let me know what you think. Let me know what future simulations you want to see. Until next time, I'll see you later.